Hi, this is the second presentation for the second prototype of RepoMaker that you can use to make your own app store. So this is still really basic and has no design at all. It's just the, the bare functionality. And when you open the app the first time, you see no repositories are available and you can add a new repository here. So we create a test repository with a test description, which is going to live in this location and uses a default icon. Now I clicked submit. There is not really user feedback at the moment, but what happens in the background is that the signing key for the repository is being created. And also a QR code that you can use to later add the repository to F-Droid. So there are no apps in this repository so far. So let's add an app, choose a file. Let's take Blitzmail. And in the background, like now we have the icon and more information that is being retrieved from the APK we just uploaded. We need to enter a summary ourselves. Description, example, website, submit. So now the APK shows up here. And if we go back to the repo, we can publish it with which takes a little bit time because it's uploaded to a currently hard-coded location on my own server. But that finished now. So we can scan this repository in an empty F-Droid instance. So we open this with F-Droid, have this information filled out for us. Now it's being downloaded and Blitzmail shows up with our test summary and our test description, including the typos I made. So let's add another app, Transporter. Just use some random stuff here and let's say we didn't like the test summary we did for Blitzmail so we change this to send emails to yourself really fast and make also a new description submit this go to the repository and publish it again the publishing ideally later happens in the background whenever you made any changes. So as soon as this is published, we will update the repositories in F-Droid. So now, and now Transporter shows up and the summary as well as the description of Blitzmail have changed. So that's it for now. See you next time.